I'm sorry for your loss, mistress. But I can offer your son mercy only if he turns himself in. I'm trying to find him, but... The Templars cannot tolerate apostates. Can we help this woman? This could be mother. <laughs> it sounds like your son is in trouble. Is there anything I can do? You... Uh, you heard all of that and still you would help? An apostate? Oh, thank you. I am Ariane. My boy, Fenrir. He's all I have. All my family. When I learned he had magic, I could not bear to send him to the Circle. But his connection to the Fade, it gives him nightmares. Dreams of demons speaking in his mind. I would rather lose him to the Circle than to himself. Did your son run away? He learned I had contacted Sir Thrask. He felt I... betrayed his trust. He thinks he can live free of the Circle. But I am afraid without proper training, he'll kill himself. Those look like Dalish tattoos. Why do you live in the city? I was born to the Dalish, but came to Kirkwall for a time and... dallied with a human merchant, Vincento. When I found I was with child, neither Vincento nor my tribe wished the burden of an elf-blooded human infant. I raised Fainreal myself, here in the alienage. Tell me the whole story. I learned years ago that my son likely had magical talent, but we could not bear the thought of him locked in the gallows. So we hid. When the nightmares began, Fainreal still refused to contact the Circle. But I... I truly think they are the only people who might save his life. What kind of dreams is he having? He dreams of demons, crawling to him, pulling him into their world. Every day, it grows harder to wake him. That is why I turn to the Circle. They are the only ones that can protect a mage from his own powers. Abominations are always so awkward at family reunions. No, please, you must find him before... ...before the demons finish their work. He must be brought to safety. If you won't do it for Fainreal, do it for Kirkwall. The Templars say a lad like my son is a danger to the whole city if left untrained. I'll bring your son back to safety, I promise. I don't know where Fainreal is gone, but there are two places you might start your search. Sir Thrask has been looking for him. If you speak to him in the gallows, he'll be able to tell you what ground he's already covered. And Fainreal's father, Vincento, recently returned from Antiva. He's a merchant in the Low Town Bazaar. Fainreal might have sought him out. Tell me about this Templar. I believe he's a good man. He doesn't hate mages, but sees what it took me too long to realize. Even the best-intentioned mages are at the mercy of their sleeping minds. There are other Templars who are much less sympathetic. You and Fenriel's father are not married. Vincento had no desire for a wife or an elf-blooded child. I haven't seen him since the day I told him. Some people just aren't built for family life. At least Fenriel has a mother who cares about him. I have written, though, to keep him informed about his child. Fenriel wanted to meet him. I will not leave you fearful for a moment longer than necessary. Magic can be a fearful gift. Your son deserves the best aid learning how to manage it. Thank you. It has been a lonely time hiding. It's almost a relief to finally confront this openly. Greetings, Sarah. You look like a man who'd be interested in the finest of Tivan steel to grace his hand. I bring only the best northern merchandise to the free marches. Actually, I'm more interested in your son. Son? I have never had that privilege, Sarah. My poor wife, she's back in Antiva and cannot see me often with my travels. Please, Sarah. 
I know you must fear for Fainriel, but we mean him no harm. Hmm. <laughs> Hard to tell in this city who means who harm, no? Perhaps you can set his mind at ease. We are no Templars, Zora. You'll find no better friend to a young, scared mage. Maldithune, you are a mate. I suppose you'd be kind then to a boy who resists being taken in by Templars? Of course. The boy is in over his head. So why send him to the only man I know who doesn't despise mages? A former Templar named Samson. Does this Samson have a residence in Kirkwall? No. He is a wanted man. He stays out of sight during the day. At night, he stays near Dark Town. That's the best place to find him. Old Vincento said someone might come sniffing around. You're looking for the boy, right? Feign something. I'll tell you now, there's not much I can do for you. I'm looking for a retired Templar named Samson. Uh, retired? Sounds better than a burned out husk of a Templar begging coins in a choke dab. They don't do anything to keep you, you know. You join the order, you're free to walk away. But they're the only ones who got the dust. The dust? Lyrium, an ore the dwarves mine. Magic in its raw form. You need to drink the stuff to face down the magickers. Problem is, if you ever try to stop, oh, it just about kills you. Is it true you give aid to apostates fleeing the Templars? The mages are help. They're no more than children, newly discovered their magic and terrified. Barely left their mother's skirts, and now we're saying they got to be locked away for their own good. That demons are hunting them. Do you wonder they run? Just looking at you, I'd say you're a man who helps anyone for the right price. What kind of price? Help me, and you don't end up dead. The Maker don't look kindly on them who tease broken old men. Right, the lad came to me, not a silver in his pockets. Told him there's nothing I can do for him. You abandoned him? I pointed him to a ship captain I know, Rayner. Sometimes he'll take on runaways. Took another apostate last week, girl I sent him. Might have gone wrong, though. I heard rumors he took the both of them captive instead. So your good friend's a kidnapper? 
Can't say I'm surprised. Not a friend. Just someone who's not afraid to try this business. Rumor has it, Rayner had the pair of them locked inside a Keys warehouse, somewhere close to Dockside. You want to go looking? You might find the lad before he gets ransomed to the Templars. Or worse, 